This chapter sucks, because you have to rely on the AI of the enemies to be kind to you. And it's really long, and I pre-recorded this, and it was 40 minutes long. And Jesus Christ, and Roy doing things, letting no Cecilia know about the horrors on the Western Isles, and all that thing. That we don't care about, because this game's story is very bare bones. And I probably went through that text way too fast. Let's fast forward through the prep screen. Okay. Milady trying to find Guinevere, or however you say her name. Being amazingly gullible. Of course not, I didn't tell her where the princess is, I'm not that dumb. We got Roy over here, and there's Lalum. Lalum isn't a very useful dancer because she has low speed and luck caps, so she's not going to be dodging much. And uh, you want to use horses in this game, so she can't keep up. Now, I have a plan for this chapter that I usually do, like have Alan and Lance equip um, javelins, and then have Thaney like move there and pick pick one of them up and I brought Marcus and Zilot because you basically need to rush this chapter and there's Lollum's dancing animation but what I do is we'll see you'll we'll see uh, checking ranges because that guy has longbow but I put I have they need drop Alan there yeah Alan and then next turn, I will drop a lance there. You could probably drop someone like Rutoga or Deke if you want to, but I put Alan and Lance there because they have a support and they can rush to the village easily. There are like a lot of objectives in this chapter that I'll mention as they come up. It's really annoying, and sometimes there are just there's just nothing you can do about the AI messing you over, and you have to restart. Which is why I pre-recorded this chapter. And here's Gale. He's not very important. And with that talk over, uh, fast forward through the enemy phase, and I once again. Have Thaney drop someone over the fence. Uh, really sitting there. And Alan and Lance basically got things up there if they have a vulnerary or some means of healing themselves. If not, you could just have Saul sit there with a uh, physic. Banana Man, getting speed. So good. And with my two cavaliers up there, or oh, well, I should elaborate more on why I brought Marcus and Zealot. Since my two cavaliers are going to be stuck up there, um, Marcus and Zealot will have to, you know, be the ones that help us out down here. And they are, like, pretty good. Like, they're reaching the end of their usefulness, but. This is definitely a chapter where you want to bring them. Considering Marcus with level 1 like base stats is still doubling enemies. And if they don't kill, then that's just free EXP for you. And you see all those enemies up there? Well, Alan and Lance basically got that. And you probably, well, no, you don't have to because I've seen people do it without um, dropping someone across the mountain there. I mean, across the wall there, but it just makes it way more doable to drop someone across the wall there and hopefully have them take out every enemy. Or just drop everyone over the wall. 
But then you wouldn't get the villages, which you kind of want to because if you rescue every village without them being destroyed by bandits that will appear in a couple seconds, then you get a hero crest, and you really want a hero crest. Because, you know, sword masters, berserkers, I don't I don't know what I was doing there with Lolan. Here, I think I'm trying to decide, do I want to uh, camp on the forest tiles? And I realize it would be a way better idea if I did. And rescue Lolan, because there's no way she's going to catch up with us if I didn't. And javelins have shaky accuracy, but they'll serve us well for now. As long as you like bait the AI like I had Alan equip a iron sword and they all went after him instead, you can do whatever you want. Uh, here I don't know where to send Thaney because she's going to want to be heading to the upper left corner. I don't know what I'm doing. I think we have until like turn 5 to reach all of the villages, or more specifically the upper right hand village because a brigand spawns like, if, if, he basically spawns so close that if you're not in range by the time he spawns you're not getting the village. And you're not getting the hero crest, that would suck. So let's fast forward this. Because this turn is taking a bit long. There we go. Release Lollum there. I don't know what I was doing. I don't remember. And I'm sure I had a plan. Alright. I would have Zealot. No, no, no. Because a brigand. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Alright, who's going up there? Alright, Marcus is going up there. Sounds like a plan. And I deal with the 60% hit rates because they all have ranged weapons. And I kind of want to get rid of them all this turn. However, Alan has to get going in that direction. I believe I sent him in that direction because the brigand is about to spawn soon. And then down here, start visiting villages. This one has a dragon shield. I have no idea who's that go who that's going to. And Zealot goes over here because the brigand's gonna spawn by that village soon. have Clarine visit the village because she has more movement. Really, you, you don't want to dawdle on this map at all. I keep forgetting to have Gonzi use the secret book. Here we go. And there's Klein. He looks like Pent, but he's a sniper. This is all Louise's fault. <sighs> I'm looking for your little sister, eh? Well, we totally have her in our group right now. Now, here's the first part of the annoying, like, relying on enemy AI shit. If Klein doesn't move, like, I don't, I don't know what causes it, but sometimes Klein won't move at all. But his four lackeys will. The problem with that is that you have to kill his four lackeys. It's annoying as shit. And, oh, I, I just completely brain farted there. 
if you kill his four lackeys, then, or if any single one of them dies, then you won't get an Orion's Bolt at the end of the chapter. And if, like, you know, if Klein doesn't move, you're basically going to have to step into his range yourself, and, you know, he's annoying. And that's co further compounded by the fact that later on there's someone who spawns in the upper left corner that Klein has to recruit. And if he doesn't move, he's not going to get to her very fast. So we save this village before the bandit even spawns, which is a good thing. Let's fast forward this some more. There's the bandits, they're like, hey, we're gonna loot the village. So if someone isn't by the bottom right village and the upper right village in time, then you're not getting you're not getting the hero crest. And I use Roy as handy bait. To bait in Klein. Now I know I noticed Alan was in like some major danger here. I think we're almost done actually. Oh wait, no, we got a lot more actually. So recruit Klein. Just so you know, like the raw like video file is like 40 minutes. So if I wasn't speeding up, it would be over 40 minutes long. Which would suck for me to upload. And it is General Roy working with the bandits. No, but he is ugly. <laughs> Clarine. The only character with some semblance of a personality. And there totally wasn't any implied incest in that conversation, nope. So, Klein has to hurry his ass up there. And now his four assholes are blocking us from moving further. Um, they will head towards the boss area because there's a little, like, one tile long thing. Hey, level 20, and only HP. Uh, but up there, there's a, a one tile long, I guess, corridor by the boss that his four archers will try to escape from. And of course, if the boss isn't dead by the time they try going through it, the boss is going to kill one of them, and then you don't get the Orion's Bolt. So we do have to rush. Alan or Lance up there. I think I have Alan and Lance take care of it. So we can get that. And now all the villages are effectively safe. I don't know what I buy here. Oh yeah, I buy door keys. Because those are important. And here I attack that bandit, which... I'm not sure if that was a good idea because um, the bandit might have gone for the village instead. I forgot how the AI works. But here's Tate. She sucks because she has 6 strength as a level 9 Pegasus Knight. But I kind of want to use her because she is a cool person. And yeah, if she doesn't move, you're not, you're not, you're not like getting the the reward because like all four of Klein's dudes surviving if all four of Tate's uh, allies survive by leaving the same way that Klein's guys do then you get an Elysian whip and we have Thaney talk to Tate because they're sisters but this does not recruit her. It turns her into an NPC, which is arguably worse because they are retarded. But we've basically rushed this chapter like crazy to the point where we got it in the bag. But two things can go, go very wrong 
like you have to hope that Klein does move and you have to hope that Tate does move. If neither of them do, then you're like shit out of luck. It's it's hard. Which is why I didn't do this chapter live. And we've got a third person to recruit, but we're basically right there. So let's fast forward this. Aha, there's Echidna. They're basically saying, hey, we know you're a rebel leader and you're in there, get out of here. And then Echidna is great. You know what she is? She's a female hero. Which is the best class ever. Let me tell you that. Look, she's gonna wreck that fool. Bam. With her amazing sprite. Mmm. You recruit her with all of them. And I'm like, hey, I'm gonna rescue you. And, you know, put you down here. I think that's what I do. <laughs> and I release you, and then Lalum dances, so I can, like, recruit you before you go ahead and die. Now, are you going to ask why? Nope, we're mercenaries, and we're kind of d dumb, because we need money. And, yeah. We basically accomplished everything in this chapter. Banana Man. Ah! Banana Man got bruised. Fear gets a shitload of EXP. Mmm. I think I rescue Echidna. Maybe bring her closer to Lolum. Unless Rutger gets up there in time. I'm not sure. Fast forward again. And Oro has even more reinforcements. Ugh. This guy is definitely like the most well prepared of any villain ever. He's like, I'm so slick. I got four groups of reinforcements. Come at me. And Alan, can you do it? Yeah, he can probably do it. That's why I let him. Drop. And I put Lance there because he may have to deal with the boss as well. Lollum recruits Echidna. I don't know. Klein gets the speed wings. If you don't believe in the speed wings with all your heart, it won't work. And for the record, I do do some arena grinding in this chapter. I just yeah, I get I get Rutger and Alan to level 20 because I still couldn't decide who to promote, and I wanted to see how both their stats would come out. So yeah, and I, uh, Rudger was basically like level 18 or 19 right now, as it is. I don't know, I don't remember. My job is to take money to the castle. So I'm gonna take the money to you. Oh boy. And then Gonzi, I think I don't 
arena grind Gonzi because I want to do it legit, maybe. I don't remember. The story of my life. I think Saul gets another good level here. Yep, magic. He's basically flown with that shit right now. I do arena grind Tate because she really needs it. Although, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using her seriously in the long run. And there's the other group of reinforcements. For whatever reason, they start going to the upright, but they don't break through the wall, they just decide to like... And we're, let's just speed this up. I basically put Ellen there to kill the boss. Fear starts going down to get the leftover villages, and me showing off the arena. This arena song is Fire Emblem 4's battle theme, I think. Do 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 do. Yeah, it sounds like it. And we get money. All right. Yeah, let's just speed this up, and, yeah. See, the Cavaliers over there were going to the right for whatever reason, but now they're going down the left side, and it's like, what? And I still show off the arena. With Tate. Have I ever mentioned how the shaman animation in this game is what makes me turn off animations in every single Fire Emblem game ever? Like, it's just, this shit is too long! I got kids to feed! Except not really. I don't. But that shit still takes way too long. And I have Saul heal Ellen because he's gonna get the boss kill. And I'm like, eh, I don't know if he can do it. And I think I send Roy down there, because he's gonna hurt the Cavaliers and get some EXP, because he needs it. And Alan gets another level up. More strength. And I forgot to get that village down there, which is a real doozy. I forgot more bandits spawned there, but Fear got this. Yeah, equip the Wodow. And we got a Sleep Staff there. Yeah, we're gonna send dudes down there. I don't know why I didn't cut the video here. Me buying a shitload of javelins. Fear gets the level. More skill and speed. You know what, let's, I think no one cares how I kill a bunch of Cavaliers, so I'm gonna pause it, and then I'm gonna load the next file. Uh, videos... Play. There we go. And I just conquer it. There's the end of the chapter. I have nothing to say. This chapter is just really annoying. It's a load of shit. Oh no, who could have thought with all this shit going wrong that the people who wanted us here are the ones who want us dead? Oh. Wow, Roy, you're so logical. Juto. 
And here are our rewards for saving every village. A hero crest. And for Klein's dudes surviving, we get a Orion's Bolt. And for all of Tate's dudes surviving, we get a Elysian Whip. I'll probably sell the Orion's Bolt. True facts. <laughs>